And so then, my ex-wife, she comes walking me. And she yells at me like she is. Alright, here we are. Oh, and don't forget to rate me. Five stars. I'd seriously kill for a smoke of something right now. I'm telling you, you don't want anything. I'm really very laid back. Just don't piss me off or waste my time. Speak concisely and don't ask personal questions or any can. questions. Seriously, I can't believe it. They only meet people through the realm of. Hey, I'm Stephanie. Like, what's up? Nice to meet you too. OMG, I like love this song. This party's okay, but I really wish I could do some whippets. That wasn't a very nice thing to say. There's nothing wrong with him. Well, not clinically speaking, at least. He's just a lucky bastard who struck gold by peddling news on the internet <gasps> at the Is right it time. true that dinosaurs Why roamed the earth only 64 years ago? Aunt riding me and Madison's asses about Man, it all the time. Aunt Cece treats him like a fucking puppy because she doesn't know how nasty and perverted he really is. Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm Madison's sister. Nice to meet you. Well, I doubt Madison would ever call me that. But I do live here too, so call it what you want. You're sweet. I'm here if you have any questions about the crowd, including yours truly. As co-host of this evening, I'd be super bummed if you felt left out or whatever. We've got all sorts here. I can't lie, most of these folks are Madison's friends. But they've taken me into their group too, which I'm sure Madison just hates. But yeah, well, like, I don't know who you've met and who you haven't. There's Stephanie, Catherine, Rachel, Amy. These are all people that Madison knows through school. Patrick's our cousin, which is pretty much the only reason he's here. And Frank, who's got no reason to be here. Oh, and there's Derek too, who knows my- I love to hear that. Like, he seems like a good guy to have in your life. And if he thinks the same about you, then- Wait, you're Derek's friend, right? Hey, I'm Madison. This is oh yeah, don't mention it. Derek was all, Hey, I have this friend who doesn't know anybody because he just moved here and I promise he's not a dick. And Derek and I are kind of in the middle of this... It doesn't matter. I'm sorry, that was rude. My head is everywhere. You know that feeling when you love hosting parties until you're actually in the middle of hosting one? Then you remember, people are the worst. That's a cool thing to say, even if you are just trying to win brownie points. That's always been such a weird phrase to me, brownie points. What the hell are those anyway? Ha ha ha. That was a really bad dad joke, but I appreciate the effort. Anyway, it was good talking to you, and meeting you. I gotta get back to the party, but come find me later, and we can get to know each other some more. Maybe take some pics for my gram? Oh, and don't forget to mingle. There are some awesome people. What the fuck did you just say? That was some weird shit that just came out of your mouth. Ease up a bit, new guy. Do they even ever work on anybody? Like, get to know a girl first. Anybody who knows me knows my sister and I don't get along. Tell me I'm prettier than her if you want to make my day. Oh, hi. I'm Amy. Why, thank you. The pleasure's all mine. I think I just lost my will to live. Hey again, stranger. How's it going? Thank you. I, like, love to dance. Oh, 
I work at Chubby's, that sports bar with all the greasy food and the, you know, topless waitresses. Psh, great for you, maybe. There's only so many times you can hear the same jokes over and over again. I'd order the footlong, but I already have one. <laughs> but at least I get to take home a free meal every night. Which, ironically, is usually a footlong because they're pretty good. And long. Steady? Oh, I don't know. I'm doing, like, all the general stuff right now just to, like, get them out of the way. To be honest, I don't really know what I want to do after that. But this is a party, so I'm not gonna think about the magnitude of decision I'll eventually have to make and in turn forever alter my life's path. Let's get fucked up! Oh, Matt and I have known each other since grade school. I totally wouldn't have gotten through math class if she didn't, like, let me cheat off of her all the time. Come to think of it, I probably wouldn't have gotten through history, science, or English either. Can you believe that? Hey, buddy. I heard you talking to Stephanie. She's pretty dang helpful when she's not, you know, stoned out of her head. You know I'm totally new here, right? I don't know about her life, but I know about people. And if I were to guess, being around the same people you've known all your life and staying in the same town you were born and raised in can make it kind of tough to think about the future and what comes next. I don't know, man. Let people live their lives or whatever. <sighs> but she's not really making the most of herself right now. If there was a medical emergency, I would bet that Stephanie would kick into gear and realize she can do something to- But if a medical emergency erupted out of complete nowhere, without anybody's hand in it, it would be rather funny if it happened to that girl, Catherine, who said, and I quote, Just because- Right. Only if. All right, well, I'm gonna walk away now and act like we never talked about this because we didn't, okay? I seriously don't know what Derek was on about earlier. He was like freaking out about his- I got my motherfucking ass beat. I don't know what to do. Yeah. Did you need something? Oh, so if I weren't wearing glasses, I'd just be some dumb bitch? You're not doing yourself any favors, dude. I have other shit to do if you don't mind. Favorite hangout spots. And having to start all over. Meal prep is my favorite time of the week. I don't believe we've met. I'm Rachel. Thanks. Nice to meet you, too. What do you guys think of the upcoming elections? Oh. I was having an okay time until fucking Frank stole my thermos. He said it looked like something I could hide booze in it and that he was confiscating it. Oh, that would be amazing. I would be very appreciative. Lovely's after. But when I came to, she was gone. I somehow forgot what my parents looked like. I gotta remember to still get my rep. How's it going, dude? Wait, you're not drunk, are you? Good. I'm straight edge. I can't stand assholes who get drunk at parties. I feel it's like my civic duty to beat the ever-loving shit out. Have to. Fucking bird. What's the How's it going, dude? Staying away from the alcohol? Yeah, Madison and Ashley have a long history of playing pranks on each other. Look, dude. If there's a chance there's alcohol in that there thermos, I need to take that very seriously. I can't check on myself because just the smell of alcohol makes me sick. Not for nothing, though, but I don't know you well enough. Maybe if you could prove to me that you could be trusted. Women. I hate when conversations start like that. They never end well. Why did I decide to start my own cryptocurrency? Well, I'm glad you asked, dude. A buddy of mine apparently thinks I say the word. Exactly how many parties I've with me dancing 
have a nickel for every time you say no. I mean, that's a fucking cryptocurrency. Oh, hey, I don't believe we've met. I'm Brittany. The rest is... Oh, yeah, I know. I'm just... Well, it's kind of embarrassing. I just bought this new top and... Well, I've always been endowed with rather large... Aw, oh, thank you. That makes me feel a little better. Hey again, how's it going? I'd love to get out there, believe me, darling. I'm just not ready yet. I'm not really comfortable going out there until I'm... Hey again, are you lost? Frank is an odd guy. He's on that whole straight edge kick, and he's apparently taking everybody along with him. He's ruining my party because we're all fucking sober. I don't even know who invited him, but I'm afraid to ask him to leave. She's up to something, I know it. Typical little sister, right? I'm kind of nervous though, because this is my party, and if she pulls something here, it would be really embarrassing for me. Yeah, I love decorating for the holidays, but it's just not the same without my favorite decoration. I do have the perfect thing. Some mistletoe held together with silky red ribbon, complete with old-fashioned jingle bells and lights. It's my Nana's, and it's been in our family for generations. I can't believe she finally let me use it for my own. The problem is that it's so heavy. I can barely even lift it myself. I tried to hang it up, but it kept breaking everything I hung it from. And the last time it fell, it nearly broke. I can't find anything strong enough to hang it from, and I'm afraid if it drops again, it'll break. I can't let that happen to my Nana's mistletoe. Aw, that's the Christmas spirit. You do seem pretty resourceful. Like that kid who stayed home alone in that movie, uh, what's it called? Anyway, when you're done, take a picture and we can use it for my Christmas cards this year. Let me know if you figure out how to... Hey again, how's it going? Oh, thanks. That's really sweet. Ugh, please don't compare me to her. We're not exactly getting along at the moment. Ever since I was young, she's always been pulling pranks on me and embarrassing me. She just loves humiliating me, especially in front of her friends. One time she stole all of my clothes and towels while I was in the bathroom and I had to run out naked while we had a bunch of company over. It was awful. I wish just once I could watch her on the receiving end for a change. You're right, I like totally forgot about her. I didn't mean to. She's just, well, it's hard to stand out when you're locked away like that. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I am kind of the co-host and I'm gonna look like a dick. Hey again, how's it going? I don't have a fire extinguisher, but do you mind if I light you on fire? I know, I know. I just can't bring myself to go out there. 
Maybe if there was a way I could be sure I wouldn't be the center of attention, I might be persuaded to come out. I'd love to get out there, believe me, darling. I'm just not ready yet. I'm not really comfortable going out there until I'm confident. Hey again, how's it going? Are you joking? Calling that a nice art room is like calling a homeless camp a music festival. That right there, that's the room devoted to feeding my sister's delusion. Just like with that made-up astrology she buys into, or that time she fucked the Lou Diamond Phillips impersonator, Madison is doing this for attention. Artists are cool and free spirits. Naturally, Madison's gonna try to be an artist. Then she can post all about it on... <sighs> that's what happens when I no longer have a place to center my zen. Serenity, Ashley, serenity. Oh. Now, very calmly, I would like to express that Madison is shit at do whatever you will. I'm going to find something large and made of glass that I can smash. Because that's inner peace, motherfucker. I don't think anybody here would do anything to it.